Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Libra. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Libra placement you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information and a jewelry scene will all be linked and listed. We will pull oracles at the end, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Libra, here we go. Yeah. You got some heavy hitters here straight off the bat. You're three major arcanas. So this is huge. And you probably don't have any control about what's about to happen for you next. Starting out with Major Arcana the Fool, followed by the Star Card, Major Arcana for Aquarius, and the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Seven of Wands. Whatever this is you've been working hard for, it is the vibe that I'm getting. For some of you, it has to do with some sort of studies. You could be studying something, or you have, might have recently learned a skill or something like that. And your fourth major arcana. Man, what's going on? Libra, can I be you for a sec? I'm Libra, okay? Three major arcanas and all good ones. Bottom of the deck, lover's energy. Gemini, major arcana. Your fifth major arcana. So, and another one, the moon card, Pisces energy. That's wild. Wow. Libra, you're in for a doozy, but a very good doozy is the vibe that I'm getting. This is the type of doozy that you want to be getting into. And it's because you've been persistent. That's really why all of this is about to be showing up for you. Obviously, this is for who is aligned with this, because not all of you have been doing the work or at that point. We're all at different phases. But for those of you that have been on this journey for a very long time, and have genuinely been putting the work and you've been setting healthy boundaries, um, not giving up on yourself, being very persistent on your wants, your needs, your direction. There's about to be a big payoff here. There's some sort of chance you might have took in the past too with the page of with the page of swords and the fool card. For some of you, you decided to learn something, whether online or actually going back to school. But there's definitely a vibe of choosing to sort of um learn a skill learn a trade whatever it is you took the chance there was definitely a chance that was taken here some might say you're foolish for taking it but you did it and this is also why you're getting paid out some sort of wish come true a lot of it has to do around abundance most likely money and stability or just quality of life but whatever it is that you, you've been manifesting wanting wishing for hoping for it's about to happen wheel of fortune that's fortune favors you luck is on your side now is a lucky time maybe you want to get a ticket and whatever this luck and wishes and stuff that's coming in, it's about to make you real happy. Happier than a baby on a pony. Sun card, Leo energy. Maybe by next summer. This is going to be sort of full circle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's real divine. There's definitely some fear here. But it's like you, did the, you, you, you took the chance anyways. Even if there was fear. With that moon energy, you took the chance anyways. You didn't want to have any regrets. Five, whoa, five of cups. You don't want to have any regrets. It's like, do you want to be afraid and do it? Or do you want to have regrets that you didn't do it? Some of you have been stuck for a very long time. But yeah, there was definitely a decision here that was made. Ace of uh, Pentacles. Well, for a lot of you, it is around uh, finances. Something you took a chance on. Whatever it is, some of you, there's a, something you learned, something you, a course you took, went back to school, whatever it is. But there was a lot of fear surrounding doing it. And for those of you that did take the chance to start this or to, you know what I mean? It's going to pay off big time. Big, big, big time. Now, for some of you, if this is a romantic situation, I do think you're about to meet someone that's very much fitting the bill. Someone that's going to tick off all your boxes. Because a lot of you have probably been single for a while. Maybe you've been dabbling in the online dating with the Page of Swords here. You decided to try it. For those of you that, that resonates, maybe you weren't doing the online dating thing before. Or you said you weren't going to meet no one online. But it's like you decided to try it. And you've been very picky. Seven of Wands tells me you've been very picky. But there is something. You also have the moon and the stars and the sun here. Which is huge. Which is giving me alignment energy. That's why that uh, we the fortune energy is there. That, that's also alignment now being the right time. Divine intervention as well with that uh, Gemini energy. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Leo, or a Pisces. <clears throat> so can go both ways. If this is a romantic situation specifically, though, for you, Libra, what is the guidance? Ch 
children. Your love life is being affected by children and wedding. This situation involves a wedding, involves marriage. I do have the page of swords here. Some of you already have children. That could also be why you've been extremely picky or have not wanted to meet anyone online. For those of you that resonate. Some of you have also been married before. <clears throat> That's why you're also very afraid to jump into something new. Or there could be someone you have children with and that didn't work. But this is also giving me that um, if this is a connection for you, there's a very playful side that this person or the connection brings out of you. That's why that sun card is there too with the baby energy. Like, you know, it allows you, it's like that um, that old school love type of vibe. Definitely possibility of it leading, leading to marriage. And at the bottom of the deck, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So some of you definitely may need to try online dating if you are afraid to, to online date. Okay, that's just a side note. Because you never know, you might be the, meet, meet your person there. You know, you only live in one place. If you want to expand your horizons, you got to use the tools in order to expand your horizons. What is the guidance for Libra, please? But there's a very um, serendipitous sort of energy here too with the moon and the stars and the sun. Damn. We have <laughs> use your mind wisely pig spirit. This is basically the when pigs fly. This is like the impossible happening. There's very much that vibe here though. Turn truth. Truth transcends illusion. Dragonfly spirit number 22. Yeah, so this is definitely about changing your mind. You're, something is about to change the way you perceive things here. Truth transcends illusion. There was some sort of illusion before. That's also what the moon is. Fear is illusionary. Once you give it power, then it becomes real. But if you choose to take your power back from it and put it more into this optimistic sort of, um, what if it does work energy of the fool, that's, that's what becomes your reality. So this illusionary energy ties back to that fear that somebody has or has had. Why is my voice getting so raspy? What's going on? Okay. Whoa. What's going on back here behind the scenes? Okay, Libra. God, that's for Libra. Please. But it is saying it's safe for you to love. So if this is love, go for it. Full energy. Go for it. Some of you definitely could be meeting this person online. That's why you're scared. Guidance. It's like, what am I going to tell the grandkids I met? Their dad off Twitter? <laughs> or, you know, Snapchat or Instagram? It's like, who cares? The point is you met your person. And this would be someone that feels mutually about you with the lover's energy there. This is someone that chooses you. This is someone you choose. So, if, you know, if you're not getting those vibes and probably not your reading, be bold and make the first move. Cardinal, Cardinal Moon. So there's definitely action getting ready to be taken here. One way or the other, action will be taken. Adjustments are required. Mm -hmm. I think it's an adjustment to someone's mindset. Because you get what you you get what you think about. Guidance. Libra, please. That fool energy is definitely someone making a move though, but it's gonna create major change. Happy, happy change. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Yeah. The moon is also about intuition. There's definitely someone that's being led here with the moon, with the fool, the moon. Answers answer the call. Someone is being led to do something very bold, very drastic, very different. Something they probably didn't see themselves doing. Or didn't think there would be a day when they would meet someone or, you know, definitely, I didn't see myself doing this. Or I never thought this was going to happen for me. It's happening. Big time. That is for Libra, please. Don't forget to celebrate the silent battles you fought and won, yeah. Even flowers go through shit and dirt. Keep blooming, baby. So this is all about negative self-talk. Not talking to ourselves so negatively. Whatever you think is what you're going to get. This is finally deciding to change your mind on what you think. So you're going to be getting different. That's cute. That is your reading for you, Libra. Hopefully it resonates. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.